We're going to turn now to an update on last week's homicide in Lebanon that left three dead, including two young children. Police say they've made two more arrests. Sonica Bargo joins us live now in Lebanon with more on how they were able to catch them. Good afternoon, Sonica. Good afternoon, James. Now, police say with the help of U.S. Marshals, they arrested 27 year old Ivan Claudio Rosero last night in North Philadelphia after a statewide manhunt. And the DA says she will be seeking the death penalty in his case. Police also arrested Rosero's girlfriend, Tiffany Cosiera. They say she lied to law enforcement about where her boyfriend was and whether she was in contact with him. She's currently being held on a $225,000 bail. Now, with Rosero's arrest, all three shooters allegedly involved in last week's homicide are now in custody. Two could face the death penalty, Rosero and 22-year-old Alex Torres Santos. The third, 16-year-old James Fernandez Reyes, cannot legally be sentenced to death. I asked District Attorney Pierre Hesgraf today why she's seeking the death penalty in this case, because Governor Josh Shapiro has said he won't sign any execution warrants during his term. She says this is about getting justice for the victims. At some point, enough is enough. And when I looked at this, and when you stare at the body of a dead child, enough is enough. Those men and women who are in other positions, inherently political positions, they didn't look into the, the eyes of that mother and have to explain, your eight-year-old and your nine-year-old are dead. They're not coming back. I did. The other two suspects police arrested last week were supposed to be in court again soon. Fernandez Reyes tomorrow and Torres Santos next week. But the DA says those hearings will likely be pushed back. The public defender's office will not be representing Fernandez Reyes and Torres Santos will need a death penalty qualified defense attorney. So we may have to wait a bit longer for those hearings. For now, live in Lebanon, Sonica Barco, James, back to you. And Sonica, we know a fourth person, a neighbor, was shot in this. Do we know how that person is doing this afternoon? We did get a small update on his condition. He was inside his home and was hit by a stray bullet. He's in the hospital and did have to go through surgery, but the district attorney says he's recovering. He's able to speak to them and hopefully will be able to return home very soon. Sonica Bargo live for us there in Lebanon. Thank you very much for that update.